everyone, my name's Elise from the blog Brace Yourself and today I'm going to be talking about a company called Poo Post. They do worm counts for lungworm, tapeworm, redworm, all the worms you can possibly get your hands on. And today I've been kindly gifted a set to test the girls. So the reason to worm count rather than just worm your horse routinely, which you should be doing anyway, but worm counting basically gives you quite an accurate representation of where your horse starts with worm before you worm them. And then you can do it after to make sure that, um, that the worms are gone and the worm will work. Because we actually, this is my third test I've done on the girls. And um, especially little Safi here, she came to us quite sick and one of her main issues was the amount of worms she had. She had quite a high worm count and we noticed this in her poo after a week of her having her here. And we didn't want her infecting Scotty so we tested both of them to make sure that they're both okay. So we tested them once, quite a high worm count, not good. So we got some Panicure five day guard into them and it didn't work. So it worked a little bit but they still had worms. Safi. <laughs> and then, um, so we did it a second time and we used Pramox this time which is a little bit risky with miniatures because it's quite lethal the dosage if you get it wrong but I think it works this time around so this is my final worm count hopefully to make sure that the wormers have got rid of everything and they're all healthy because little Sappy had a blood test and she does have a bit of gut damage from the worms having them for so long and it caused her to cough a lot because we think they got into her lungs and all that so yeah poor little girl but she's doing so much better and I think it's worked so I'll let you know when the results come back in your single equine worm count kit, you will be given a poo pot, a sample bag to place the poo pot in, a rubber glove, a prepaid return envelope, a testing voucher and an information sheet with the full instructions on how to do your worm count. All postage is prepaid so you can just return it in any UK mailbox once you are done and a single kit costs £5.50. Step 1. Put your rubber glove on. Step two, get your pot ready. Step three, fill your pot to the brim as much as you can with a recent poo sample from your horse. My sample was from the night before when I went up to muck out in the morning and I pulled off bits from the top so it had no bedding in it. As you can see, I stuffed it as full as I can without it overflowing. Then take your bag and write the horse's name very clearly on the bag and do not write on the pot because they reuse them. Make sure all the air is squeezed out of the bag so it is laying flat and you put in the pot sideways so it is at least bulky as possible. Once you have finished filling your pot with your faecal sample you are ready to pack it away to send back. So what you will need is your envelope and make sure everything is being packed as flat as possible and that everything is clean. Do not write on the pots, write on the bags and do not send back a really dirty envelope. The mail goes mad if this happens and the poor people at Poo Post then get blamed for it and have to pay fines. So for health and safety, please make sure everything is as clean as possible. At first I laid my voucher in the envelope, which I have fully filled in. Then I took my worm count samples, squeezed the air out of the bags to make sure they won't explode during transit, and I also placed them inside the envelope. Then seal your envelope up and you are ready to post it back to Poo Post. And that is all it takes to finish this worm count kit. It's super simple and easy and anyone can do it following the instructions on the leaflet. Within 24 hours I got my results back and they will come through your email and as you can see both Scotty and Safi are completely clear and all the worm has worked and finally I can be confident that they are happy and healthy for the next few months till we need to reworm and start the whole process all over again. I honestly couldn't have done this without the help of Poo Post. It was a real stressful, horrible experience trying to sort them out because they 
Safi really looked ill from this all. She had a really horrible wormy belly. And as you can see in these photos, she looks so much better now. And that's all thanks to Poo Post and their help and their advice. And I cannot recommend them enough. And I will link their website down below. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I really hope this helps you. See you next time. Bye.